So the eggs have spent about uh, 40 to 45 days in the incubation room depending on temperature and it's time now to move them from our incubation room into our early rearing uh, trough area. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be moving the fish from the incubators out to our trough area. Uh, and this is done at approximately um, 500, 500 accumulated thermal units or when the fish are, are uh, ready, they just about used up most of their yolk sac and they're ready to be fed on a dry diet food now. And what we do normally is we take some fish and we put them in a beaker and we look at them from underneath just to see how much of their yolk sac is being used up. And when they get to a stage where about 90 to 95% of that yolk sac has been used, it's time for them to go out from the incubation to the trough area. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to transfer these fish from the incubator into one of these green tubs. And the reason for that is to give that, uh, uh, when we're transporting the, the fish, we want them to be um, safe. We don't want them to be spilled onto the floor. We don't want any drippage that could cause disease problems um, and we want them in a nice soft water environment. So we're going to fill this up with some water, put them in here and then take them out to our trough room. Each one of the incubation trays holds approximately 10,000 alevins and each one of these uh, standard rearing troughs holds about 30 to 40,000 fry. So we'll be putting approximately uh, two to three trays of alevins into each one of these troughs today and they'll spend about the next six weeks rearing in in this area until they're approximately a half a gram in size at which time they'll have outgrown these troughs and it will be time to put them into larger troughs uh, and ponds outside.